Shalom to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm here to bless you with yet another word for you. I'm here to encourage you and I'm here to tell you about the goodness of God. God is always good. God is always masses. The Bible says it clear that his masses are new every morning. Every single morning, his masses are new. So my brothers and sisters, sorrow may last for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Some of you are about to receive a breakthrough. I'm telling you, some of you, God is about to give you a miracle. Something that you did not expect, God is about to do it for you, for your family, for your condition. Brothers and sisters, that health condition that has been deteriorating day and day, God is about to heal you. The Bible says it clear that he sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from all their diseases. Brothers and sisters, God loves you so much. God wants you to prosper. God wants you to be in good health. God wants you to do well. I have a word for you to encourage you, to bless you this morning. Some of you, at the time you are listening to this word, it could be night in your country. It could be late in the night, actually. But this word is right for you. You did not click on this video by coincidence. This message has not been recommended to you by a mistake. There is a reason as to why you are watching me right about now. So I encourage you, if you are new to this channel or you are watching me for the very first time, I please kindly encourage you and request you to subscribe to this channel. Turn on all the notifications so that you may never, ever miss out on these amazing words. Remember that if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, if you want to be a blessing, you can do so by... Uh, sharing the word of God and through your giving, you can give through my PayPal account. Remember, my PayPal account is right in the about section of this channel. When you click the about section of this channel, you will be able to see my PayPal account. And also, you can give through other means. Just let me know. Send me a message and I will direct to you. My brothers and sisters, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Brothers and sisters, today's powerful and amazing word is do not follow the crowd. Do not follow people because they will lead you to a blind spot. They will lead you into a pit. There are people that are just uh, there to, make, to, to cause you to make mistakes. So do not even be a people pleaser. Stay away from people who want you to please them. The only one you are supposed to please is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says it clear that faith pleases God. That is very right. Faith pleases God. So for you to please God, it has to be faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in Christ Jesus. That faith will please him. Mm. Let me read to you a very powerful word. <clears throat> It is from the book of Luke, chapter 19. Luke, chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. Mm. Luke, chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. The Bible says it clear. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And now behold, there was, a white, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he saw to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd. For he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste. And come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, 
Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore for fall. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because he also is a son of Abraham. For the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. What a very powerful and amazing word to begin your day with. This is a story of Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector. The Bible says he was a chief tax collector. He was rich. He had money, by the way. The Bible says Zacchaeus sought to see who Jesus was because he realized that there was something he was missing. Despite the fact that he had all the money, he was rich. He did not have Jesus because his wealth, his money could not save him. The Bible says, but could not because of the crowd. He wanted to see Jesus, but could not because of the crowd. For he was of short stature. Some of you, you are being limited, being delayed from receiving your miracle, your breakthrough because of people. There are people that have clung on to you. Some of you are clinging on to them, thinking that they are the ones that are going to help you. And yet they're just lying to you. It is important to let go of the past. Some of you, it is the past. Some of you, it is relationships that you have been holding on to that are limiting you from getting your breakthrough. Some of you, the reason as to why you're not actually getting your spouse, it could be because of the previous history. You are still having that hatred. You are still having that, those wounds. It's time to heal. And Jesus can heal you. The Bible says it clear. So he ran ahead and climbed up a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. Zacchaeus was a very wise man. That calls wisdom, prophetic wisdom. The Bible says he reigned ahead of the crowd. It is important that whatever you do, you run ahead of the crowd. Don't be a people pleaser. As I said, please only God. Run ahead of that crowd. Run ahead of those things. Those negative voices. When you hear people start condemning you, start speaking words, run ahead of them. Bible says there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation. Mm. Run ahead of the crowd. He climbed the sycamore tree. And Jesus came to the place. He looked up and said, Zacchaeus, today I must come to your house. Jesus showed Zacchaeus' faith. Zacchaeus' faith. And he said, Make us, I must stay at your house. It was a must. Because of what Zacchaeus has done. Now listen to what people say. People will always have something to say. They said he has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. There will always be people who complain. When you do something wrong, when you do something good, <clears throat> people will always find a fault in you. This is why I tell you never to be a people pleaser. Even when you are pleasing them, they will always speak behind your back. Mm. Look at the attitude of Zacchaeus. He even said, I give half of my goods to the poor. <clears throat> and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. That is powerful. Brothers and sisters, run ahead of the crowd. I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.